Let me tell you something. Young Dolph murder suspect done turned state on his own brother and told everything. This case started to crack. Young Dolph was murdered, gunned down on November 17, 2021 by two masked men. But since the arrest of the two men, over six people done been indicted on conspiracy charges involving this case a young dog murder. The two gunmen are Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith, but there's two other people that are involved from behind the scenes. They keep players. Hernandez Govan and Jamarcus Johnson. Hernandez Govan is said to be the one that cut the check for the hit. The street saying, yo, God is the one who cut that check, but it ain't been proven yet, allegedly. Jamarcus Johnson is charged with accessory of murder after the fact. Jamarcus Johnson is straight job brother, Justin Johnson, blood-related brother. And he done pleaded guilty on the charges against him. And he has offered a detailed testimony to the state on his own brother in hopes of getting probation because I think this is his first time ever being locked up on a felony. Hernandez Goldman was given a $90,000 bail and is currently out on bail. Once he got out, Jamarcus Johnson had time to think to himself like, damn. I'm in here involved with a murder that I ain't had nothing to do with. I'm not about to sit here and spend the rest of my life in here. I'm telling on these Negroes, man. I'm finna be a truth teller. And that's what he did. He snitching on everybody, man. Dolph finna get justice in his case, even in his death. He went in that courtroom and told on his brother. I mean, he told them people everything. Jamarcus Johnson had no involvement in the homicide before the murder. He had no involvement in the homicide during the murder. He says his client has been cooperative from the beginning. Jamarcus faces six to 12 years in prison. How his brother made him take the car that was involved in the murder and he gave him his personal phone and the brother instructed him how to contact his probation officer on a three-way call so he could report to the probation officer as if he was still in Memphis and not running from nobody. But the whole time he was in a whole nother state away from authorities that was looking for him. Jamarcus Johnson, straight drop brother, told the state everything he knew about his brother. Dolph said it best. Everybody screaming, gang, gang, gang. Them folks come and get you, you gonna tell on the whole gang. That's what Dolph said. And that's why I never joined the gang. That's why I never wanted to be part of the gang. That's why I never wanted to get money with the gang. That's why I was never affiliated with the gang. Because gangs only work until coochie, money, and jail time involved. Then everything started to change. Them same ones that was wearing the same color bandana, riding the same color smoking the same blunt with you, man, and twisting their fingers, throwing the same signs that you throwing up will be in the courtroom on the stand pointing their finger at you. He did it, your honor. I ain't taking no charge for that nigga. I got to get back to these hoes. I got to get back to these clothes. I got to get back to these car. I got to get back to that money. Ain't no money in here. See, what you got to understand here, these dudes will yell on these records, man. I die for my brother. All on these rap songs talking about they'll ride for their brother. But they be big capping, man. They ain't standing on no business for you. It just sound real good on these rap songs, man. But ain't no money or no women or no designer in that jail. Hell, ain't no money, ain't no women, ain't no designer in prison, man. They'll tell God on Jesus just to get out of a life sentence, man. Everything be gangster and real till y'all get caught, man. And then the gang gang get to think about his family and his old lady and how he ain't gonna see them no more. And that's when you find out just how cap the gang really is. See, I'd rather be by myself than to hang around a bunch of fake ass Negroes every day, man. I can't hang around. I don't want to be tough. I don't want to be like you now. I want to give me some legal money, man. I want to stay out here for my family because I know they need me. I don't know what y'all be thinking about because that street shit played out and this telling you that because this man telling on his own brother. I'd rather get legal money. I'd rather never have to face a judge, a state attorney, or a jury ever in my life. That's gangster. If not catching a body is lame, then call me Point Dexter. Because I'd rather be that before I get caught in a snitch trap. Just take a look at the facts 
It's proven. All these people snitch from John Gotti, from goddamn Sammy the Bull, all of them snitch. That's how y'all see in documentary. Hey, look at BMF. Somebody snitched on him. Yeah, it's only one or two real ones in the whole world every 30 to 50 years. The rest of these, they cap. The rappers is cap. They get on these podcast interviews, they snitch on everything. They get on these goddamn radio station interviews, they tell on everything. They snitching too. They just ain't on no stand. But the fans taking account of everything they saying in the interview and using it against they ass. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all make sure y'all comment below. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Y'all make sure y'all share this video, baby. We the business.